developing more and more desire in the marketplace for your product, opportunity, and services. All right, we're going to talk more about that over the next 20 minutes, but I'll say it again. Marketing is the art, science, and skill of developing more and more desire in the marketplace for your product, opportunity, and services. So let's look at all those components a little bit. Like art. Art is emotions. People buy emotionally. As a healthy living educator, I think I told you, I tell you I was a trained chef. I, uh, I teach in schools how to kids how to live healthy. And Debbie Banana, you think I'm funny looking now, you should see me in a banana suit. But <laughs> Debbie Banana teaches kids the difference between whole food and processed food and what's really in that box of macaroni and cheese, 27 chemicals and no real food. And so it is so exciting because it's a combination of power tools, PowerPoint, and acting. And they get so wound up that they walk out of that room emotionally charged and they're like, I have never eaten macaroni and cheese in a box again. And so they buy into it emotionally because they get their emotions charged up. And that's what sales is in order to sell anything, whether it's don't eat macaroni and cheese, or your product is connecting emotionally. That's the art of sales. And a lot of people in this business, sales is what this is all about. And if you think about the definition of sales, which comes from the Scandinavian word, uh, and it means to serve. That's the, the root of what sales means, to serve. It comes from a Scandinavian word. So let's, that's the emotional part of marketing. And then the science, science is systems. And, you know, I had a big fear when I came into my company, into my business, because I was really afraid that, that it wasn't professional. I didn't want to be perceived as a party plan person, party plan lady. Guess what you are, Deb. And uh, so I decided to take all the skills, and we all have skills that make us successful in other things, and apply them to my own business. Because I worked for 30 years using my skills to make somebody else successful. And so I can certainly do it for myself as well. And so I decided to keep my to treat my business like a person. I invented in like 1880 or something like that, but no one could afford to make them. Henry Ford invented the assembly line. And what happened was everybody said he was crazy. Of course, everybody says we're crazy sometimes too, but we stick through it, and he did too. And so he invented the assembly line, and now that's the best business practice for manufacturing. If you think about McDonald's, they manufacture food. They're not a restaurant. It's not even food. It doesn't even fall under the definition of food. <laughs> Organic matter that sustains life. Most of the products, most of the products we consume today don't meet that definition. But uh, McDonald's uh, produces, manufactures consumables in an assembly line process. All clothes are made in the assembly line, so assembly line is a best business practice. And that's the programs I sell are all about best business practices for direct sales. Specifically party plan, but any direct sales business doesn't have to be party plan. And so science is systems or best business practices. A good example would be every successful business company has a business plan, a budget, and a, a, a fiscal policy. How many home party people or direct selling people working from home have a written business plan based on a budget? And so when you do that, you will achieve success. When you put the principles into place that every best, every successful business has, you will get the same results. And so that's the science, is systems. Because people never fail. As a matter of fact, businesses never fail. It's just systems that fail. When a restaurant or a business goes out of, out of, out of uh, operation, it's not because they failed as people, it's because they didn't have the right systems. If it's a restaurant, they didn't have the right recipes, they didn't have the right systems to make a profit. So if you're not getting the results you want from your business, well then you need to look at getting new systems. 